Hey guys, welcome back to the Zane Investing. We will examine AMC Entertainment, taking a closer look at AMC and Ape. In today's video, we will discuss the AMC timeline, the upcoming meeting that will cover the full details of everything you need to know about the AMC reverse split and conversion, and a big piece of news that the mainstream media is actually withholding from you guys, among other topics. Ensure that you watch till the very end. As usual, we will begin by examining the chart for AMC N8. So, today's AMC closing price was 551. We are 4.36% ahead. This is precisely what we discussed in terms of AMC price. Today, AMC is clearly bouncing off of the 518 and 505 zone, and it has now broken above the 547 level and closed at 551. Thus, we surpassed 556 at one point, but we were unable to close above it. Thus, in a sense, it was still a good week, as we concluded the week still in the zone. Thus, we did not actually descend. Many critical shifts continue to favor the upside. In addition, we are seeing buyers enter the market at this price. Consequently, this retracement, which I addressed in our video, was very natural. This was much anticipated. Nonetheless, it appears that as buyers continue to enter the market, the next run-up is imminent. And the reason why the pullback was beneficial is because we will be able to close above greater prices on the next run-up, and I anticipate that we will be conducting tests on it very shortly. 687 and 703, so I believe it's a great time for AMC. However, the Sunday Outlook video should be more thorough. Everything that occurred this week was covered extensively before the week even began. Stay tuned for the Sunday Outlook video if you want to be well prepared for next week. We examine EIGRP and the same holds true for EIGRP. Everything has been covered prior to the beginning of this week, so if you'd like to watch the Sunday Outlet video to double-check, feel free to do so. In terms of EIGRP, however, we are now performing really well, as our rates continue to climb. However, in terms of where we close at the end of the day, the 192 were up 7.26%, and we discussed this in our prior video. On a Friday, it is highly probable that the price will test the 194 region as we have discussed. Therefore, it is extremely rare to truly surpass it. However, 194 was feasible. Thus, we actually arrived at 192. Therefore, this is a pretty good candle we are noticing an increase in volume. Currently, there are a large number of EIGRP purchasers, which is precisely what we desire. It would have been preferable if we had been able to shut between the zones of 194 and 203, but I believe it is quite likely that we will be able to accomplish so in the upcoming week. Nevertheless, I still believe it's a respectable showing of buyers, and it indicates that the buyer momentum moving into next week will likely continue especially in light of the recent news regarding AMC and 8, which we will be discussing very shortly. But before we do that, let's examine the AMC timeframe. And I believe that this was quite crucial. So effectively, what you see here at each price is some of the major news releases. And I believe there are a few things that we should investigate. Obviously, it's first in terms of the tokenized stocks that are released. Thus, we can observe that there were dates when the purchase button was removed. Clearly, these were significant developments that caused the price to decline. Every time you view the news, you can also see Binance, the stock token trading platform. I doubt we actually witnessed the price decline. However, you have always seen that it appears as though they were unable to control it for an extended period of time. And then, once they were no longer able to contain it, once they could no longer repress it, the price began to rise. You observe this multiplicity. Nevertheless, you recognize that every time they implement a new approach, it appears as if their ability to suppress grows longer and longer. But each time they are unable to suppress it, the price increases exponentially. Obviously, this is reflected in the price. And you can occasionally observe where the FTX token security swap from private chain to Solana occurred, like we did. Three months after introducing stock tokens, Binance will no longer support them because to their precipitous price decline, and we witnessed the price rise. Consequently, we comprehend the impact that these tokens had on AMC, and of course, AIP. Then we shall see. 
However, in terms of the actuality of the situation, it occurred before the price bubble. Consequently, I believe that the FTX's bankruptcy led to the increase in the price of AMC, which is where we are today, January 19th. But of course, watching this video will be the 27th or 28th, depending on where you are or even just depending on when you're watching this, where now it costs to borrow for AMC at 120%, which is actually if we take a look to 110%. Consequently, AMC is currently in a very, very favorable situation. Taking a look at the time frame, once they can no longer repress that area, once they can no longer suppress the price, we will almost certainly observe a significant price increase. The meeting is the next topic we'll be discussing. Therefore, this meeting is genuinely open to the public. This is not fabricated. Some individuals have made things up, but you can discover the truth for yourself. This gathering will occur on March 14, 2023. Obviously, if you are a shareholder, you have the ability to participate. The proposal is to amend our third amended and restated certificate of incorporation to increase the total number of shares of common stock from 524 million to 550 million. The second item is to adopt a reverse certificate of incorporation revision. Stock split at a ratio of one share of common stock for every 10 shares of common stock, which, in conjunction with the share increase proposal, will allow the complete conversion of all outstanding shares of Syria preferred stock into shares of common stock. Obviously, we will discuss the transformation of APE into AMC and what it is currently. First, we recognize that the ratio is one share for every 10. First, we must recognize that the actual value of the company will not change. However, the amount you see for the price of AMC's shares will vary. Currently, AMC is at 551, as an illustration. After the stock reversal, AMC shares will cost $55 each. Consequently, this is obviously quite easy to comprehend, as this is essentially the case. And naturally, you are able to convert your APE into AMC and this meeting will occur on March 14. As previously stated, as long as you are a shareholder, you can always vote for this proposition. Therefore, be ready for that. Leave a comment here indicating how you intend to vote. I would like to emphasize that this is a vital point. In order to convert apes into common stock, shareholders must support both the share increase proposal and the reverse split plan, and this is extremely critical. There will also be a great deal more fundamentals. Remember that I continue to believe that what we have seen from the actual filing itself on the reverse split and the conversion will surely have a Fed that will continue to brew into the next week and drive the price even higher. Consequently, you should absolutely keep tuned for that. Now, if you want to ensure that you can prepare for next week, you must state this. Click the subscribe button, enable the notification bell, and watch for the Sunday Outlook video, in which I provide my technical analysis and the fundamentals we should be monitoring each week. I have completed it, and the results have been largely accurate. This week has unfolded exactly as we've discussed, and if you don't believe us, feel free to check out a Sunday Outlook video and watch it for yourself so that you can be sure whether or not you want to watch it for the following one. Also, thank you for watching the video. I'll catch up with you all next time.